Hello there, it's Bushman Run again. Uh, still on a journey down the south um, in Coventry. We're now at the back of Canley, going into Willenall, and we're just going underneath this massive, lovely ornate decorated bridge. Uh, yeah, it's nice and decorated with graffiti as well, but that's a modern day scourge, I suppose. As you can see, I've got to uh, a point where there's quite a lot of debris, rocks and God knows what else. There's a trolley or something there in the water. And normally, with a bit of water flowing over the top of these, I would have just paddled straight over it. But uh, as you can see, all the rocks are sticking up and uh, I'm more likely to get trapped in it than I am to uh, paddle through it. So I just thought I'd port that. Bit. As you see, I've got my boat down there. I'm just going to go and have some lunch, seems it's 12 o'clock, and uh, I'll show you basically what I brought with me for my lunch. Um, now, most of you might know that I'm into survival and bushcraft, um, but I'm also into common sense. And if you're going on a journey, be prepared bring something with you to eat um, I've got here some nice little baps from Greg's nice advert for Greg's uh, some crisps and some coffee to keep me warm and although I won't eat it all in one session I will need the um, calories just to keep me going because it has been a really hard slog this morning it's got better over the last hour since we passed uh, Clifford Bridge Road, a lot deeper water, um, but still it's a, a long fight to get through all the debris and stuff that's blocking the river this time of year. Uh, as you can see, my favourite, cheese and onion crisps. Now I mentioned earlier that these gloves were the ultimate, well not the ultimate, the really the perfect gloves for paddling, and they are. Uh, but I did notice one thing and I'd like to show you that, share it with you. As you can see there's a little ring here which I've actually used my knife and cut it off. But there's another one just here that you can see where they're, they're meant for pulling your, or well, sticking together so you can pull your thumb and your index finger out of the holes. Um, unfortunately because the velcro is so close there and when you're doing wet sports you do tend to get wet nose and it's not a good idea to wipe your nose with a velcro patch so that's why I took those other two patches off because I don't really need to use that function on my gloves so you know, I just don't need it and although I try my hardest not to um, wipe my face or anything um, it does happen from time to time and it really is worth taking those patches off so for now, from shopping trolley heaven in uh, Coventry, this is Bushman Ron signing off and I'll get back to you in a couple of miles or so. Bye for now.